Hello everyone, welcome to my English, my life. Uh, online program for class 6 to class 12. On that we are going to talk about uh, today one of the best poems. I love this poem very much that is Footprints in the Sand which was written by uh, Mary Stevenson uh, who are feeling that they are discouraged, who thought they were abandoned, who thought they were separated, who were there isolated. For them these words these words and this poem gives a great comfort and confidence through the Mary Stevenson is really given a good words so it was very very amazing poem and it was very very short and very clearly uh, whatever Mary Stevenson want to express so what uh, he or she was experiencing the words so it was really awesome that uh, it was a Christian related a Christian belief or faith related poem uh, it, it makes how uh, Mary Stevenson was very strong in God when she started following God. So that was very awesome. Let us read and understand this poem. One night I had a dream. I dreamed I was walking along the beach with Lord. Across the sky flashed scenes from my life. From each scene I noticed two sets of footprints in the sand. One belonging to me and the other is to the Lord. So our the speaker in dream, the speaker is going towards uh, uh, in the beach. Uh, the speaker was talking to or uh, talking and moving with God. So Lord. So the speaker, wherever the speaker is going on, uh, he she found two footprints. One is uh, the speakers and second one is our God. So that means the God is going along with the person who in every situation. So the God said that in every condition, if you believe me, if you follow me, I will follow you wherever you go. So I will come with you and I will be with you. So uh, speaker was going and dreaming in dream. So wherever the speaker was going along with the God is following the speaker. So that was a true footprints in the journey of human being. The speaker was moving and along with the, the God, Lord was moving with the speaker. That shows that the speaker believed God very much. So that shows how uh, the speaker was related to the faith and how the speaker believed. The poet believed the God and his philosophical words and his uh, how the speaker trusted him was clearly uh, notified him. So let's continue that. When the last scene of my life flashed before me, I looked back at the footprints in the sand. I noticed that many times along the path of my life, there was only one set of footprints. I also noticed that it happened at the very lowest and saddest times in my life. So here, during the hard times, toughest times, hardships, problems, difficulties, when the difficulties were with the speaker, with the poet, then the speaker found only one footprints. Only one footprints. When, he, when the speaker turned back, the poet has seen that only one set of footprints. Then the speaker knows that very much. What we will be that? Yes, God has abandoned me. He said that I will come with you. He said if you follow me, I will follow you. He said, if you accept me, I will come with you. But what happened to God? What happened to Lord during the hard times? During the hardships? What? So where is God? I got problems. I got struggles. I was in problem. I was in a deep sorrow. Then where is God? He left me. He abandoned me. He was not following me. He was not coming with me. So that was the thought what we usually cause. That was the idea. That was the first thought what we usually get when we have problems. So same thing. The speaker has been noticed that only one set of footprints were following her. So then immediately the speaker thought definitely God has abandoned me. So let's read. And what was the feeling of the speaker? This really bothered me. And I questioned God, the Lord, about it. Lord, you said that once I decided to follow you, you would walk with me all the way. But I have noticed that during the most troublesome times in my life, there is only one set of footprints. I don't understand why when I need you, most you would leave me. So Mary 
Stevenson, when it was when she was in the dream, she thought definitely that questioning God. God, you said whenever you accept me, when you start following me, I will follow you. I will be with you. I will guide you. I will lead you on your paths, in your paths. Every time I will be with you, you promised me. But what you did, what you done, what have you done in my life? I got a problem now. I got difficulties now. I got, I, I'm in deep sorrow. I was in deep trouble. Then you abandoned me and you left me and I have found only one set of footprints on my back. So that shows that you have been abandoned me and you have forgotten your promise and you left me that you thought that I'm not very important child to you. And what you said, you have been forgotten about your promises. And Mary Stevenson in her dream clearly saying that you have been abandoned me. And whenever I need you, you are not with me. Usually you are coming with me. You are following me. Every time you are with me. But when I was in problem. When I was in deep sorrow. When I was in hurdles. When I was in hardships. When I was ready to get a problem. You are not with me to give solution. Then how can I believe you? How can I follow you? How can I trust you God? You said you will come with me. But you are not. I have found only one footprint, so that was not fair and you have been not with me during my troubles. At the time, the Lord is replying to her in a dream. Let's read what God is replying. The Lord replied, My precious child, I love you and would never leave you. During your times of trial and suffering, when you see only one set of footprints, it was then that I carried you what a great word and answer by the god god answered simply and said that my dear child when you start following me i never leave you when you start loving me i started loving you before you loved me i loved you very much because you are my precious child for you i came to this world for you i given my whole life for you i dedicated my life for you i given my whole life and i died for you, my child, you are very, very precious to me. So how can I leave you? You, you? you found me, you found only one set of footprints during hard times. That is not your footprints. That is my footprints. I carried you in my shoulders. I carried you on my hands. So that was my footprints, my child. During hard times, during toughest conditions, during hard trials, during hardships, you thought you were having only single footprints. That is my footprints because you are in my hands. You are in my hands. My child, you are very, very precious to me. I never leave you or I will I never forsake you. That was the word and answer given by the Lord in the dream of Mary Stevenson. What a wonderful words. So my dear children who are watching this video, don't forget that you are not abandoned. The Lord, the God is always with us. So be strong, be confident and be motivated yourself and never and never thought that you were abandoned by someone. You have a guard. You, maybe your parents will ban your friends, your neighbors, your relatives or your loved ones. Everyone will leave you or uh, will abandon you. But not the God because the God loves you very much. For that only he came to this world and he died for you. And he said that, my dear child, you are very precious to me. I never leave you or forsake you. That was a wonderful lines I love that was given by Mary Stevenson. That was the end of the poem footprints in the sand so that was wonderful lines so don't feel you are abandoned have a great day thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe meet you in the next class until then bye bye